In this video, we'll discuss how to create and delete virtual disks and assign hot spares on a shared perk controller in a Vertex chassis. To begin with, enter your credentials. On the home page, click Virtual Disks under the Storage tab and click Create. Now, select the RAID level. In this video, we're selecting RAID 5 as the RAID level. Select physical disks according to the selected RAID level. At this point, you can name the virtual disk. By default, the media type is set to hard disk drive. You can select solid state drive if required. Shared Perk 8 is selected as a default controller. You can select other perk controllers if needed. The default strip size is set to 64 kilobytes. Change this as needed. The read policy is set to adaptive read ahead by default. But instead of that, you can select no read ahead or read ahead. The default write policy is write back. You can change this to write through or force write back as needed. The disk cache policy is set to default. You can choose enable or disable here. You can also change number of span in case of RAID 10, 50, or 60. In the case of RAID 0, 1, 5, and 6, you cannot change number of span. And click Create Virtual Disk. Click OK when you're prompted with a message stating that the operation was successful. And then click Manage. To assign the dedicated hot spares to the newly created virtual disk, Choose any of the solid state drives under Manage Dedicated Hot Spares from the Virtual Disk Actions drop down menu. Now click Apply. A message is displayed. Read through the message and click OK. Click Physical Disks in the left pane and then click Setup. To assign the global hot spare to the newly created virtual disk, from the Physical Disk Action drop-down menu, select Global Hot Spare. Click Apply. A message appears, read through the message, and click OK. Now, click Virtual Disks in the left pane. Click Manage. From the Virtual Disk Action drop-down menu, select Delete for the newly created virtual disk, and then click Apply. Message is displayed, read through the message, and click OK. For more information, visit dell.com forward slash support.